Um, <laughs> I wasn't even there. <laughs> so, there was enough blame so I did, to go around. <laughs> I did. I did start the. I did start the meeting live now as webinar, and um, we are recording. So whenever, whenever you're ready, Chris. Okay, I'm going to call our uh, special plan commission meeting for. Um, uh, let's see. Today is the. I've got all my meeting stuff here from the last meeting. It's May 17th to order. Kevin, do you want to do roll call? Or Todd, are you doing I'm totally it? ready for you. Go ahead. Uh, but I'm a little mad at Tracy. She's not taking the night off. I see her on as an attendee. Tracy. All right. Chris Zellner. I'm here. Phil Willems. Here. Uh, Gary Herzberg. Uh, let me see if he's an attendee. Nope, I don't see him. Uh, Brad Zeman. Brian Malich. Here. Chris Thomas. Here. And Brian Wallace. Here. All right, you have quorum. Okay. Um, thanks, Todd. So we have one item on our agenda for this evening. Um, do we have a public comment? I'm sorry, I don't have the agenda right in front of me. Is it? Uh, we don't show public comment listed. We on just have our first item, which is the DCAR. And as our plan commission last time, I will be recusing myself. So I'm going to name, uh, can I, I'm just gonna name uh, Phil Willems as our acting board member for running the meeting. Thank you very much. Uh, the village, the board uh, discussed this and uh, agreed uh, to uh, pass this in uh, as a permitted uh, use. And uh, see, I guess who's here? Todd. I'm here, Phil. I can take this. Okay, oh, there, yeah. there he is. Right. Go, ahead, go, go ahead with it. And uh, Todd, if you could go to page 20 of the packet, that'd be helpful. Okay, I'll get there. I think it's just helpful for them to see the building and then just be ready to go to the site plan if needed. But, uh, you know, as an introduction, you know, the Planning Commission has seen this uh, project a couple of times now and then discussed the, the permitted use. And, and like Phil said, the, the Village Board concurred with your recommendation that they make this a permitted use. Um, they did, uh, you know, suggest, you know, putting some restrictions on the site plan. And I think that'll go a long way towards the concern of the, of the neighbor. And from what I understand, the, the neighbor and, and David, uh, Steve, the neighbor and, and David have, have met uh, and they have uh, resolved any concerns that uh, Steve had had. I think mostly was related to the hours of operation, but I, I believe that's been, been resolved. And I, I, I'd love to see if Steve is on here, but I don't, he wasn't on our, was not on our uh, village board meeting. But uh, I, I consider this a pretty straightforward uh, site plan approval. It's a high quality uh, looking building. You know, they do exceed the, the parking requirements. I'm, I'm not overly concerned by that, but if, if that's something you wanna have a discussion on, I, I think you can. I don't, I, don't, I, I think uh, I hate to tell a business not to put in more parking guys. I think they understand their business operation than the village staff do. And I, I look at our, um, you know, standards as currently written that you're allowed to exceed it. I mean, you, 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 you got to meet the minimum. If you can't meet the minimum and you don't want to put the minimum in, you got to leave space for, for other places, you know, to expand the parking to meet the minimum requirement. We currently don't have a maximum requirement. I know there's been some discussion about putting on a maximum requirement, but again, I don't, I don't think we're in a good position to tell businesses on, on how to run their business and what they need for, for parking. So there was a number of comments I think that were identified in uh, uh, Kent's comment. I think that was in, that was the biggest one was in terms in Jason's. The biggest one was regard parking. Let me see if I can bring up the rest of the packet. But why don't I just turn it over to any questions to see if I can answer that the Planning Commission has before I'm asking you to take action. And it, and it looks like the uh, several representatives from the applicant and their their team are here as well, and I can bring them if you have specific questions you want them help with. Okay, we'll start with the real Brian Mollish because I have uh, Kevin even with his picture above Brian. So Kevin, uh, I'll bypass your picture and go to the real Brian Mollish. 
Ryan, you have anything? No, okay. Brian Wallace. Well, I saw I saw Brian Malish came off mute. Uh, if you're trying to speak, Brian, we cannot hear you. All right, one more time. Any luck now? Yeah, yep. we got you. Ah, okay, sorry about that. Uh, no, I uh, don't have any questions. I'm good. Thank you. Brian Wallace. Um, the only comment or question I had, and uh, Kevin may have alluded to this, um, in the some of the details from the landscape plan, and I know maybe the uh, resident and the developer here have come to some sort of agreement, but I was just wondering about from a shielding or berming or landscape landscaping to kind of um, isolate the view from the resident's house to the property, especially if there's going to be cars and stuff parked there. I know there's a berm that's currently there, sound like, or looked like that was maybe stand. I don't know if they were going to incorporate some undulating berms around there with some of their landscaping to help shield or um, block that off. You know, uh, Brian, I didn't hear that as a as a follow up question from Steve. Uh, I think what they had shown on the plan was sufficient. So I'm assuming that either they had worked out something that that David is going to probably do as part of the, the project or that that concern went away with the hours of operation. I think Brian Kleimeyer is on here. We do have a suggestion in terms of the hours of operation, which we think would be helpful in, you know, maintaining, you know, that, that you know, to make sure that it's compatible with that, that residential use. Well, and, and I'm not exactly sure what, Kevin, do you, do you have a, a, a proposal for the hours of operation? The, the only thing I was going to suggest is from, you know, 7 a.m., till 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Uh, but I think that they they have suggested they're gonna be well under those hours of operation. Yeah, and, and within within our uh, code, zoning code where it talks about approval of site plan, and, and this seems to fit within this subparagraph, it talks about the appropriateness of the site plan and buildings in relation to uh, adjoining properties. and. Brian, I think your comment got to that with respect to some type of screening or berming or things of that nature. And I, although it doesn't explicitly state this, I, I think you can, if you want, identify a condition of approval of the site plan, those hours that Kevin has identified, or if, you know, if, if the applicant wants to identify different hours, I'm sure they'd be allowed to. But I, I think as part of approval of the site plan, you can identify that as a condition, condition based on that subparagraph. And Kevin, the hours that you mentioned there, I think don't, aren't those typical are typical noise ordinance hours? Correct. Yeah, that's what that's what I think that, that that's what I suggest you mirror them after. Yep. Okay. Thank you. And yeah. certainly, uh, David or Matt or others that are uh, in the audience want to have any comments, but if you think it's going fine, I think you can leave it as it is. But if you want to add to the discussion, please feel free to raise your hand. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. yes. All right, perfect. So yes, we, um, we spoke with Steve on Friday and we had a very nice chat with him on his back deck um, over a few beers. And he actually wants to cut down some of the trees near the berm. So um, he has a sunroom on that side of his house and he wants to make it a little bit more sunny in his house and some of the trees that are on the berm currently he wishes to have cut down um, so that he gets more sun on his house and his uh, tv antenna gets better reception so um, that was one of the uh, things we talked about and every other concern he had what he does not have currently so the parking got taken care of the hours of operation got taken care of the noise got taken care of um, those were the only things that he specifically spelled out that he would like us to do um, is look at cutting down potentially some of those trees on that berm so that he has more sun in his backyard. Thanks, David. Anyone else? Hearing none, uh, Kevin, uh, do we already approved this as a permitted use. The village permitted it. Uh, is there any other motion that we have to take? 
There is. There is an approval for the SIP for the site plan by the Planning Commission. Okay. Do we have that motion from anyone? Um, oh, Brian. Brian, Brian has a question. We're going to want to add the hours in there. Yeah. Yeah, so the, so the recommended motion is on page three of your packet, and and it's it makes sense the way Kevin has drafted it. The only question is going to be, do you you know if, to the extent that someone makes a motion, if you want to add the hours of operation of seven a.m. to seven p.m. Uh, Monday through Saturday, you would just want to add that to the end of the motion. So I'll make the uh, motion to approve the SIP for uh, the DCAR lot eleven Wanakee Business Park, subject to all outstanding items being addressed by the to the satisfaction of the village administrator and to include operational hours within the uh, time frame of 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. I'll second. Perfect. Motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? If not, roll call vote. We don't have anybody would do a roll call, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. Brian Wallace. <laughs> yes. Hold on, now he switched it. He switched the screen on me. Now I know why Tracy has such a hard time. Sorry, Phil Willems. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, Phil Willems. Yes. Chris Thomas. Yes. Gary Hertzberg. Yes. Brian Malik. Yes. All right, I believe that's everyone. Oh, the real Brian Malik. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a motion made and seconded. We can wel welcome Chris Zellner back. Oh, he took his tie off. Welcome back, sir. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? I get to say it, Phil. <laughs> I get to... All in favor, Brian Malik? Are we saying it right? Is everybody saying it? Because I heard Malish, Malik, hey, Malik. David, welcome. It's it's Malish, like it's an S-H-F-E. Malish, Malish. But Malish. Malish. but are you going to find Kevin even right. for using your name? All right. So I thank you, everybody. I respond close. Everybody's everybody was in adjournment, so we are good to go. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the night. Talk to you later. Thanks. Yeah, I'm going to be giving you a call. <laughs>